It is June 21st, 2023, and you are watching The Code Report. The other day I was doing some modern programming by having ChatGPT do all the work for me, but it kept complaining that it failed to scrape Stack Overflow to get the latest answers. This forced me to go and use the actual website like some sort of caveman, but in doing so, I discovered that the 2023 Stack Overflow survey results are in. Over 90,000 developers filled it out, and the findings are encouraging, terrifying, and just plain weird. First up, let's find out if you actually need a degree to become a professional developer. My bootcamp told me I could make six figures, after six weeks of JavaScript training, but in real life, it looks like 75% of professional developers have a degree. That's an overwhelming majority, but it's still impressive that a non-trivial number of people can get into this field without a degree. Like, you don't see a lot of self-taught brain surgeons landing a job straight out of boot camp, but in some cases, programmers can make as much as surgeons. You just have to learn the right programming language. According to the survey, you definitely shouldn't learn PHP or Dart, unless you want to be poor. You'll actually make way more money as an HTML programmer, because it's a far superior programming language. At the very top of the salary tier though, we have Zig, a modern low-level language that I'll make a video about soon, but keep in mind this data is a bit skewed because there's only three or four paid Zig programmers in the world. And the same goes for Erlang and F-sharp. The highest paid in-demand language is surprisingly Ruby, and almost every language on this chart had a salary increase of 10% or more from last year, almost enough to make a dent in the raging inflation that made us all way poorer over the last few years. A few languages though experience salary declines, and even the highly popular Rust is down 35 bucks. And speaking of Rust, let's now look at some of the most popular popular technologies. JavaScript is the king when it comes to actual usage, but which languages do people actually admire and desire? What you're looking at here is a new chart on the survey that replaces the loved and dreaded chart on previous Stack Overflow surveys. When you have a red dot far to the right, it means the language is highly loved by people who actually use it. When you have a blue dot far to the right, it means it's highly desired by people who haven't used it, or in other words, it's hyped up. Rust is by far the most admired at 85%, but there's been a lot of political drama in the Rust ecosystem recently, and it'll be interesting to see if that number declines next year. Other standout languages include Elixir and Zig, while the most hated languages are MATLAB and COBOL. Of the highly desired languages, PHP was the least admired, which is surprising because they give out free Lambos. When it comes to cloud platforms, AWS dominates, but Hetzner, a German company, is the most admired. What's interesting, though, is that people now absolutely hate Heroku. I think the lesson to be learned here is to never get rid of your free tier. When it comes to JavaScript frameworks, React gets most of the action, but Svelte is the most beautiful. I concur, and if you want to learn Svelte, my full course will be out next week for Fireship Pro members. It's also worth pointing out that newer frameworks like Quick and Solid are also highly admired. When it comes to full-stack meta frameworks, Next.js is dominant, but currently, people on tech Twitter are revolting against the app directory, which might affect its ranking next year. I don't think it'll get anywhere near as bad as Gatsby, though, which is still very much hated, even though it was acquired by Netlify last year. When it comes to non-JavaScript frameworks, Phoenix, which is based on the Elixir language, is well above everything else. Now, in other tools, the mobile app framework Towery, which is based on Rust, is by far the most admired but Flutter is the most desired mobile app framework, even more so than React Native now. Moving on to IDEs, VS Code dominates our desires, but NeoVim is the most admired. And it's a great editor if you love to configure things so you never have to actually build anything. It doesn't matter though, because AI will soon be doing all the building anyway. ChatGPT is the most admired and desired LLM, and same goes for GitHub Copilot, which itself is based on the same models as ChatGPT. But surprisingly, nearly 30% of developers plan on never using AI at all. And another crazy stat is that only 16% of people now work in person full-time. Almost everyone is either remote or hybrid remote, despite all the articles you read about people being called back to the office. Okay, so that was a lot of data to process, but I want to finish off with a piece of data that reveals the secret to making more money as a programmer. A full-stack developer in India makes about 17k per year. In Germany, it goes up to 69k. In the UK, it goes up to 74k. In Canada, you're looking at 81k, but in the United States of America, it almost doubles to 140k. If you want to make more money, just respawn in America next time. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching watching, and I will see you in the next one.